Hello and welcome to another Skodcast Battle Report. Today we have the Dark Elder with a Corsair Warband from Imperial Armor 11 against the Renegade Horde of Endless Fury. They're all have their backs to you right now. Oh, <laughs> let's get started as we try and protect the Webway Gate from being infested by the powers of chaos. Let's begin! Hello and welcome to another Skardcast Battle Report. Today, the Dark Eldar, denizens of the Dark City, are assaulted from all sides by the Endless Horde. This is a form, uh, detachment in the Imperial Armor Book number 13. This is Renegades. Uh, every single oh no, one of these sorry, units, it's Imperial it's Armor 5, five, five second, edition. second Edition, and each of these units of, of Renegades can respawn on a 2 plus if I kill them. So they basically keep on coming on the board and they have to outflank if I do kill them. And on a 1 they die. There's only one objective. The Webway Gate. And the gate is under attack from the Chaos Forces. It's a race against time. The Dark Eld I've had to make quick allegiance with the Corsairs. So we have a Corsair raiding party. This is a heavy support Corsair unit. It has a couple of rocket launchers using the new Imperial Armor 11. I've deployed, I have um, six grotesques, an Archon with a Power Sword and, um, and a Soul Trap and a Shadow Field. I got a Raptor with three lances. I got four Venoms with five Cavalite Warriors, just splinter weapons. I have five Mandrakes that are going to infiltrate. I have a Razor Wing in reserve with lances. And I have a 10 man Corsair band with two Flamers, two Fusion Guns, a Baron, and a Prince. And they have rolled combat drugs, uh, plus one weapon skill for the Corsair band, and they all have jetpacks. In reserve, we have a Dread Assault Claw with a bunch of guys inside, and a Dark Apostle, and then uh, that's in the reserves. Okay, my opponent would like to seize the initiative to try and jump on the Dark Eldar line. Oh, drum roll. It is a four. It is not. The Dark Eldar take into their skimmers, turn one. Let's begin. Okay, Dark Eldar went first. The Mandrakes infiltrated here, shot into this unit, killing seven of the dreaded cultists. Then we have two Venoms here. They open fire into respective units, killing a couple of models. Oh, that, didn't, that guy didn't fire, actually. Um, I'll be right back with him. Uh, the Grotesques move and ran six Grotesques with the Archon. I had two crack rockets from the Eldar missile launchers firing into the Marines, and they passed their cover, while the two Venoms fired into the Chaos Space Marines that do not come back and killed three of them. The Ravager stayed put, and that was it. So, we're moving on to the dreaded Chaos Horde. Turn one, the big dread claws coming on with flamers and everything. Lots of shots, let's see what we can do after this. Okay, the Chaos Horde has advanced and ran at full force. The Dreadclaw dropped down, disembarked a unit of 30 with um, guns, or 15 with guns, three 20, flamers, er, 20, 19 with the Dark Boss. And it destroyed everybody inside the Venom with the flamers, but the guy, the Venom is fine. One hull point was suffered by this Venom by all the strength six ignore cover shooting, and then two Mandrakes died. They didn't fail their printing test, but they do fall back, and I have to do Soul Blaze for that unit again. So Soul Blaze, no, it fizzles out. Okay, moving on to turn two for the Dark Elder. We have the Corsair Warband wanting to come in on a four plus. No, but they get to reroll. Sorry, it's a three plus because uh, they have the Sky Assault rule. So I get to reroll failed reserve rolls. And they arrive. And then the Razor Wing will also come on. And it does come on too. Okay, turn two. First blood to the Chaos Band of Doom with only Warlord to take and also the objective to take as well. Let's begin. The Dark Eldar second turn arrival of the reserves saw the four monocyte missiles annihilate the demagogue in the back with his retinue, killing and acclaiming Warlord for the Dark Eldar. The Venoms fired into a lot of cultists, killing a few as well. 
Over on this flank, the Corsair reserves deep struck. Two fusion guns making short work of the giant Dreadclaw. Multiple shooting, taking this cultic unit down, and the um, Dark Apostle stands defiant, surrounded by dead bodies. Um, courses have a really cool rule where they get to move six inches back after shooting an enemy unit and then using their jetpacks they have moved at 12 inches into the corner after getting blobbed here. I love them. Really cool little unit and they are under combat drugs so they have plus one weapon skill this game as well. Um, other news, the flesh. Gore of the grotesques. Charged in, destroyed three units near the objective but they are all arriving and the units that come back do so on a 2 plus but they have to outflank so we don't know what side of the board the horde is coming from but this planet is infested with chaos worshippers trying to get into the webway for purposes unknown. So we're moving on to Chaos Turn 2. What a bloodbath so far. And the Mandrakes did rally, but they failed to kill anybody over there. Turn 2. Let's continue. Okay, so turn 2. We had the Grotesque lose three members, but kill three units in combat, and one stayed because our banners that allow them to automatically pass morale. Uh, three units came on this flank, they ran up and ran really far and then that unit flamed everybody in the venom uh, three died though the rest are still alive this unit's melt bomb killed the venom and then the dark apostle is moving up and then these guys killed all the mandrakes and we're moving on to dark eldar turn three okay the dark eldar have used adaptive tactics to take on the horde they decided to fire at all the units that don't have morale banners trying to cause mass panic so we have one, two, three, four large units running away in terror while the Archon and his unit killed the last unit that was pinning them in combat. The two units with banners, three units with banners are still there and I have tried to ignore these guys on the flank by boosting into the center of the table and leaving this one guy alive that's holding that entire unit back from respawning. Um, the Corsairs have been great, they killed an entire unit, but we do have three extra units coming on the board. <laughs> so this is going to be a bloodbath moving into turn three. The Renegades of Rax turn three. We had the two units charge in after shooting the Grotesques. The last of the Grotesques have fallen. My Archon with a Soul Trap is now up to strength six by challenging every champion he comes across <laughs> he's valiantly fighting with his back against the webway as a horde of cultists comes after him and his reserves are oh so close yet so far meanwhile the horde is circling there is no hope we must get into the webway and close the webway for good so we're moving on to Dark Eldar turn four I did lose a Corsair to some pistols. Oh, and then these guys here. came back alive. And then we have one unit of flamers coming back to life and another unit coming back to life. So it's going to be intense as we move into the end bits of this game. Let's continue. Um, so turn four for the Corsairs and Dark Eldar. We had the Strength 7 Archon so challenged the next you, you know, well, combatant out and they both have, uh, ran away, the ran them all down. Your, in the yeah. shooting phase, I made mean, pretty much every single unit run right. away. Since it's oh, yeah, it's all, basically guess. going on to turn 4, they would have no chance to get to the objective with all my objectives secured in the back. Uh, we do have a whole bunch of units, they kill a lot here, but we're looking at the Dark Eldar making a swift exit into the webway from the clutches of the Chaos Renegades. Really fun, interesting game. We decided to play a really thematic mission with respawning um, Chaos Renegades. So it's a formation where you have to take at least 120 models. But when they get destroyed on 2+, plus, they get to outflank. Um, and they just keep on coming on the table. The movement trades are just for ease of movement. If not, it would take forever to play again. Um, I really, really enjoyed playing with the Corsairs. Um, 
it, Imperial Armor 11, the new one, I, oh, they, they just they play so fluidly, and I really, really enjoy the game. But I'll talk a little bit more about them in the tactical corner. Sir, any final comments for the game? I think I need more cultists. More cultists. <laughs> And thanks a lot for watching, tune in, check the links down below to all the stuff that we do on the channel, the Patreon page, everything else, the lists, that sort of thing. And we shall see you next time on another Scardcast Bad Report. So the webway has been saved this time from the forces of chaos. This is Scar, your grateful host, and stay tuned for the tactical corner. Scarry out. Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Tactical Corner. Today we talk a little bit about the Horde mechanic. Now these Renegade Army, lots of models, so many infantry. And my army is very, very elite. So good thing I brought some grotesques um, for the game. I really wanted to play with the grotesquery, but I forgot my homunculuses at home which just meant that I was running a large unit of grotesques instead of the two three-man units in Raiders. Um, but nevertheless, uh, it kind of fit into the mission, so it was really fun. Now, tactically speaking, I'm very glad I got first turn. It meant that I was able to um, start picking on a few key units. Now, the destruction of each unit meant that on a 2+, plus they were going to be coming back. So, I wanted to whittle down the units and um, ideally have him uh, charge into me so they would die during his turn and wouldn't come back uh, during uh, my turn. And then he would have to bring them back in his turn, which would then mean um, I would be dealing with less models uh, throughout the game. You know, key, leaving key units alive was important. Now, tactically speaking, I sent the grotesques up to the meat grinder. I knew that they would just make short work of all the cultists, but eventually they did get brought down. Now, the men of the match were definitely the Corsairs. I really, really like the mechanic that they provide for any Eldar, Dark Eldar army. Um, they are so mobile with their special rules um, and their, their small elite units were fantastic and you know a Corsair Prince reminds me of what an old Archon used to be. You can give him combat drugs and a Venom Blade or a Void Saber, he's base strength 4, you know he can have uh, a, a drugs affecting him the whole game and then he can help um, his units uh, buy combat drugs uh, which is pretty much the Witch uh, drugs that you can get for the Dark Eldar, but on a six you roll twice on the chart and get to apply both results. You know, there's no nothing stating that it can't be cumulative, so plus two strength, plus two toughness, that's definitely a possibility with combat drugs, which is really nasty. All in all, um, I had to play really smart and um, I'm glad that I was able to get uh, the grotesques up there and, you know, the, the reserve units that outflank, by mind you, when they come in, they can outflank, and then when they outflank, they can run an automatic six inches. But all those renegades were too far away towards the end of the game. So this meant that they were out of position. Now my Archon was probably the man of the match with his grotesques, taking down all the squishy infantry by droves and running down any of them that dared to try get away. And all in all, I really liked the dynamic between the Corsairs and the Dark Eldar. Um, there was a couple of things I did, I did wrong. I, I paid for some upgrades on the Corsairs that had no use in a game of Warhammer 40,000, namely the Void Plate har uh, armor, which is only for um, Zone Mortalis. And I'm really looking forward to a series that I'm going to be doing called One Spirit. Um, I'm doing four or five different 750 point um, armies and I'm going to be creating a tactical series that meshes all of them together. Corsairs, Cabalites, Craftworld, Eldar um, and Harlequins as well as um, 
the coven. So make sure you check below for links. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate you tuning in. See you next time. Thank you.